Hey everyone, it is Char from Char's Fashionation. Yes, you're seeing my room from a whole different look here. So, you know, sometimes I'll sit it somewhere else just to try to get the lighting to be okay. Yes, I did a look, but I did not share it with you. Oh, look at that. There you go. Anyway, so... We're going to be backwards like Star Wars. <laughs> and actually uh, show what I got in reverse. Um, but yeah, and don't come at me for this. Don't come at me for this. Okay, even though this says essential oil, I got this for $3. But I think they actually like labeled this wrong for what it is. It's not for confidence. <laughs> Don't come at me for like somebody labeled something an essential oil, okay? I can tell you what rose oil is actually good for. Want to exercise some demons and keep some evil away? <laughs> and negativity? Keep, keep some rose oil around, okay? That's what we, we keep in our Crypt Keepers kit. Um, anyway. Because I'm going to be practicing some artwork, um, even though I have my bigger canvases. What I'm going to practice, this came in a two-pack of stretch canvas. You'll see what I mean in a minute. You'll see. Okay, and then I got the sketchbook, which I needed, you know, a new sketchbook. A hundred sheets for $5. Now, I'm going to compare that to something else in a minute, so let me put that one up here. Okay. Then I got 36. Okay, I can't see that without my artist pencils. 30, 36 piece artist pencils. Okay, now for this part, I need my glasses because it's teeny writing. Really, I don't like my glasses much. I think I should have got a more stylish pair. Next time I will. I'll keep these, but I'll also go for a more stylish pair. 12 colored pencils, 12 water color pencils. So there's 12 of your colored pencils and 12 of your water color pencils. Um, and then there's four graphic, which are these. And um, there are eight sketch graphic pencils, which are these ones. So I'm really happy to have these. Oh, trust me. Um, in high school, I had made my own comic book. I never got it back then. Oh, it's sad. And if you want to know here in the packet, how can I tell the difference between, okay, the ones with the gold on them for the colored pencils. These are the watercolor pencils. That's how you tell. That's how you can tell the difference. I needed me some new earbuds. I'm excited to try this. So this even comes with some sort of little travel pouch for them and some sort of little separating doodad right there, which I think that's cool. That's cool. I'm cool with that. And the last thing from Five Below. I, mean, I was so happy to find this. I love doing calligraphy. And the cashier said that they might get the bigger setback. Because I'm like, oh my gosh. I would love to see you have the bigger setback. Um, creative Gallery. Fine Artist material ink paints now um i'm gonna say this is more calligraphy than anything because of what it is i mean obviously you shake this up i wanted to open this with you guys anyway so we'll do that right now because that's the last thing in here And when I say don't come at me, oh my gosh, I remind myself of rich looks. Like his 
Don't come at me. Don't come at me. <laughs> so, okay, you know, like the cheap plastic, but I'm not mad at this. I'm not mad at this. I actually like this. So let's check out the pen. Okay, because I do want to check this out. Like, how does your pen come out of here? Okay. This is your regular pen. Um, it's already got this in it. But I'm wondering, like, you have to fill this. So... And there's no instructions on how to do that. So I'm going to guess that this is going to be like your regular calligraphy pen because that's what the point is if you look at it and even from the bottom. Um, so I have some upcoming um, graphic art to do for a logo. And I was so needing something calligraphy for five dollars let's see what do we got for ink here to go with it that matters okay we'll start from the bottom and work our way up okay we got my all-time favorite color now don't forget when you use these you need to shake them shake them before use a lot of people will gripe about that but if you don't shake these you get nothing but the oil because the actual ink is on the bottom of these. And that oil is meant to preserve the dry powdered ink. So you need to remember that uh, when you're working with stuff like this. And be very careful because this can actually stain things. So always be careful with that. Now they have the black. Which is my all time favorite. They have... Um, I thought they had two different greens in here. No, I guess they don't. Um, they have the grass green. Ooh, looks like it has a tinge of gold in it. Oh my gosh, it does. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I'm excited to work with this. Ooh, what kind of beautiful am I getting? Ooh, look at that. Look at those gold reflex in there. Look at that. Oh, I'm excited. That's how you know I do YouTube. I'm all, look at that. <laughs> all excited. It looks like a lot of these have the gold in it. But this is the teal ink. Now to me, teal isn't gold. I'm sorry. Teal is blue. <laughs> I don't know who labeled this. Teal is blue, not gold. Uh -huh. So, um, all right, well, I'm still interested in this color. It looks like a bronze. See what I mean? That looks like a bronze. Bronze with, like, gold flecks in it. That's not teal, people. I don't know, like, you, you need to learn your primary colors again. Obviously, this purple, this all seems to have this gold in it. Which I'm not mad at. Yeah, I'm not mad at that. Now, I'm not going to open these until I actually need them. But, you know. Oh, yeah. If you, I don't know if you can see that Like when you tip it. Yeah, I think you can. Anyway. Um, beautiful. Beautiful purple. And then this is the red. There's also a light pink in here, and I'll tell you my name for it in a moment. Oh yeah, this, oh, I can't wait, really can't wait to work with this, <gasps> to do my Asian dragons. Oh my gosh, when I do dragon art, <gasps> that's going to be beautiful. Oh my gosh, maybe I got this for a reason, and, and I couldn't find, a, I'll mention this to you in a moment. On what I couldn't find while I was out. And okay. Since everybody's been trying to spill their tea, 
on somebody that just moved out of their Barbie mansion. I decide to call this color right here Jeffree Star Pink. That's what it, it's pink. It's light pink. So I call it Jeffree Star Pink. It's, it's not labeled Jeffree Star, but no. It's a light pink. Like his beat of his heart. Um, well, he gives to uh, women's charities. So, like I said, you know, and he teaches. See, this is their orange. All of it seems to have that gold in it. Like, And like I said, I'm not mad at that. I wish they had someone, some with like the silver in it. That would be cool too. Right? But you really have to shake this. Isn't that pretty? Oh, look. It's almost the same as my lodge shirt. I'm going to say that this is more of a red than an orange. I don't know. I don't know until I really try it. Um, and then they actually have a yellow. Let's see. And of course the yellow is going to have the gold to really make it yellow and stand out. Yeah. Now the yellow I like, that's really more of a gold if you compare it with what's supposed to be teal, and we know this is not really teal. I guess this one's more yellow. This is more of a bronze. Yeah, this one's more of a bronze. I think they'd be cool together in a piece of artwork. So I can't wait to use those. That's going to be cool um, to use. So I will put that back in this little case. I know I want to do that now. <laughs> and I want to put it back in this little, little case here, but it doesn't want to fit. So just let me put that over here. Um, now, I went to Michael's Crafting for a couple of things. Let me put that nail in there. That's not the one I want to grab at first. Um, like I said, you know, we'll... We'll compare these books and the prices, okay? Uh, now, I went to Michael's Crafting for a specific reason for a couple of things. And um, I also noticed that they had their uh, green label beads on sale at Michael's Crafting for $1.99. You're like, oh, you're all about this $1.99 thing. Hey, I was not too far from a what? A Hobby Lobby. <laughs> $1.99 for this turquoise. No, it's not going to be a bracelet. Now, I got two of these. So, two of these equals a necklace. Ooh, in time for the regalia. For my regalia. Yeah. Then I won't be using this turquoise here for the with it as a contrasting turquoise because it's a whole different color. It's beautiful, but it's a whole different color. And I could use this with like doing lazy stitch for a pair of moccasins. Absolutely. That's actually why I got those beads. But these I got to make for making jewelry. Um Dang. Okay, now on to comparing price and how much paper. Now, we all know Artist Loft is a great brand. I don't knock it. I love Artist Loft. You can use this as, as la, 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 I have brain farts. <laughs> this is acid free <laughs> paper. And for for $4.99, there's only 60 sheets. Okay. $5, and I got 100 sheets of paper. Which one was the better purchase? I'm going to have to say five below. 
because I've actually used their paper for water painting and it works fine. It works fine. Don't think that you can't. It works fine. So I'm going to keep both books because, you know, I have my reasons. I love to draw and um, I can bring it to you. Um, Neil, let's see. As you all know, or maybe you don't because maybe you skipped a few videos. And I'm not getting my notifications for everybody. So if I don't pop in and say something, it's because I haven't gotten your notification. Thanks YouTube for messing that up after I put down all notifications. Everyone, thank you. <laughs> No, what I might do also is a uh, teach you guys video with that uh, colors that I got on canvas. If you would like me to teach you that, please leave a comment. You guys know I don't mind teaching you. I love teaching. It's my jam. Um, okay. Now... All of you know that I love my Karin cakes. Absolutely love them. Found two of them that I would have bought. Okay. No, this is not my lodging. I have those coming this month. Um, this is just another ring I own. Um, it's hematite. But, um... The huge rolls of Karin cakes was buy one at regular price, get the other one for half off. So I'm like, okay, $9.99, might as well round that off after tax, $10.08. Okay, so you get like for $5.08, you would be getting the other one. Um, okay, but I was like, okay, I could do that, but add on only half of the you know you're paying ten dollars for one and then all together you're paying what like round that off after jersey tax you're paying about sixteen dollars okay don't come at me for this i'm a bargain shopper i love my loops and threads because i also love them so loops and threads and you know I have no sponsors that don't bother me right now. Uh, $3 a skein. Well, you guys know I got something coming up with uh, Sun City Soaps and Candles. So, um, I got this. This is all ombre colors, right? This, this is going to be gorgeous. So, like, what girl wouldn't want this in ombre color, right? It'll look like some sort of, like, I don't know, a cupcake? Uh, or this could be, like, a snow cone, uh, colors, uh, roses. There you go. Look. Um, then I got this green ombre, which I didn't expect to find. Um, and they have this beautiful blue ombre. This is the only one they had left of this one I can see why look at that that's like I don't know that's like this sky with some clouds and then they have this this is the only one they had left of this one and then they had this one this is the only one they had of this one with the label on it so I went ahead and grabbed it. I love the colors in this. Isn't that beautiful? So, I think all together, I might be able to, we'll see how many washcloths and bath mitts I can just get out of one. I'm pretty sure I can get plenty out of just one, like maybe two bath mitts and two washcloths out of one skin. So, let's see, that's three... 
six, nine, twelve, fifteen. No. Did I do that wrong? Three, six, nine, twelve. Uh, anyway, this right here costs less than what it would have cost me for two skeins of the Karn yarn. Um, which I will be picking up some Karn yarn anyway, but not right now, but later in the month. Um, which I'm sure that they'll have another sale. It's that time of the year. Yeah. Okay, so that's what I have got for my haul. Now, to look back on this, like, serious, this little oil was $3 at Five Below. And that's why they call it Five Below. I know some people call it Five and Below. It's Five Below, people. Thank you. And it smells so pretty. It smells like I can get rid of some hex and beasts with this thing. I'm like looking on my wall. It looks like somebody like chipped on my wall while I was gone. And like, what are you looking for in the wall, people? Their devices. I don't know. That's just creepy. Um, might put some paint over it. <laughs> I have no idea what the spot is on my wall. It wasn't there when I left this morning. See that red spot on my wall? What in the what? That wasn't there when I left. And ADT over there, they haven't been doing their job. Thank you. So, um, while we're at it, just how that hasn't even been a 30 minute video. Oh, people always like they're cutting back their video time. Well, you cut back your video time. You know what? I may start teaching for an hour. Hope I can take up an hour of your time sometime just to teach you how to do some artwork. Would you like that? Let me know. An hour in your day that you may need to use up. It's just, it, it is irritating that somebody took my paints and I went to look for the Artist Loft paints at Michael's Crafting that were supposed to be on sale for $1.99 a tube. Couldn't even find them. Nothing was marked for $1.99. And I was so saddened. I mean, maybe they put out their advertisement too early for that one. But I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not hating on it, but... Okay, this is the little pouch. That's not bad. It's one of those little... Not that I'd be carrying mine around in one of those. They've kind of upgraded their quality of stuff by below. So I'm not, you know, I don't, I don't mind that. Please continue to upgrade your quality, your quality of stuff. Oh, good. It's one of those flat ones. I've always wanted the flat one. Okay. And as everybody knows, unless you're backwards. <laughs> Well, these aren't labeled for left or right. I usually put it in my left ear. But you can put it in either one. Hey, this matches my shirt. This must be match my shirt day. Wait, where's my pen? Hold on. So we'll plug this in. I would usually just plug it in with the... Okay. 
And we were testing the alarm system when we got home and I came back here and I was like, you know what? I'm going in my room, let me know if the alarm goes off, so. <laughs> Who's first? See, rich luck Starbucks breakfast food or Bernadette Banner. That's a video she did a year ago, though. Reconstructing an 18th century rump. Oh, Bernadette, eat, please, sweetie. You're too skinny. Uh, we'll just go with Morgan Donner. It was the part two of her polka dot. Let's see, Bearing Gal? Yeah. These earbuds are pretty good. Not bad. I thought that they were just sporty looking. That's why I looked at them. I'm like, oh, they're just sporty looking. You guys want to know that my vacation scene is still my <laughs> oh my gosh so yeah um let's see how would you use that one thing on here you know oh I see I see okay okay I get I got this I got this okay so apparently to keep these from getting tangled but I think the only entanglement I like is certain things and part of it has to do with quantum entanglement physics so I'm always down for quantum entanglement physics so what are my things <sighs> anyway so you put this one in in here so you basically separate them by just putting them like one in one side one in the other hmm oh I see you wrap it so you know it doesn't say on the front that you actually wrap it on there like I was wondering what is this design on the front I guess you wrap your headphones on there hmm. interesting interesting now I personally don't know if I would do that that's just me but I'm probably getting that in there I'm not a dude I don't I'm I'm not the one that works the thing into the hole So, I guess that's how that works. Um, I would personally pull that up because if I was to, let's say, go like this. See, I did the right thing, but like they have cord wrapped around it. So, I'm going to think it's this cord that's wrapped around it. Which to me really doesn't make any sense. Unless you like don't want a bunch of cord hanging while you're doing stuff. And yeah. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I'll mess with it. See what happens. But uh, yeah. Pretty much. I mean this is cool and all. But looks like a little wrench. But it's kind of weird. At the same time. Like, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of weird. 
the, the headphones, they work great. They're a perfect length. They do match my shirt. <laughs> I've noticed this like little trend here. Um, oh, and I did not open up these these pencils yet. Oh, you're like you didn't open your pencils. No, I didn't. Just to test it. Oh. Trying to put them in a good spot just to grab one. <laughs> I might fight for that. It's a graphite pencil. So, we'll take the cheap sketchbook to test that right on the back. No, I spelled that wrong. <gasps> How about that? Where's an eraser when you need one? I always, you know what? I can fix that. And then that becomes the end. That's right. I'm a little tired. I got up super early. So, we have Char's Fashionation written with one of these pencils. I think I might like that. No? Sometimes I don't always, you know, like draw on the first page. But, you know, sometimes I will. And, um, I actually have a a regalia to design out and I might actually use this book just for that just for designing clothes so there's plenty of clothes I'm planning on designing myself teach you I'm doing a swoop neck on this so um and I think this pencil would be a great way to have that show up on camera yeah Because I was watching uh, Making Regalia with Joaquin Lone Lodge. He's from the Southern Cheyenne, Southern Arapaho tribe. And um, he has a show called Making Regalia. And that's where, you know, I figured out how to make my regalia. Thank you, Joaquin Lone Lodge. And now I almost started speaking Navajo. <laughs> I'm learning my languages from the tribes, but uh, yeah, that's going to work out fine for uh, clothing design, as you can see. So um, I plan on doing a long dress, you know, like not too long, something that goes down to the ankle. And um, it's going to have maybe the quarter sleeve on it. So, um, I'll feel really comfortable because being at the powwow this year, I might actually, uh, dance. They invited me to dance last year, but I didn't have any moccasins. Um, so I'm going to have to order my mocks and, uh, I'll be able to take my mocks in on the sides if I need to, because I have, uh, artificial sinew on hand. And then, um, also, and I think maybe this is why I got those, those, uh, turquoise beads. 
was to actually make my feather fan this year. Won't that be exciting to show everybody how to bring together a feather fan and um, a bunch of artwork? I'm going to re-go through all my stuff in here and see if somebody decided to put my paint back because they knew that, like, that cost me $10 a tube, so that was... $60 worth of paint. You know, ouch. $60 worth of paint missing. Um, and that's that's wrong by itself. But you know what? It's not going to stop me from teaching you. So I want everybody to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. And I We'll see you in the next one. Oh, which might be a short clip. I gotta download this from my phone. It's kind of funny um, because I was taking some photos of myself with the Death Wish uh, shorts and shirt. And uh, it kind of looked like a little mini movie. So, the only talking in that one that you'll hear from me, um, I mean, you'll see my, my face, but it'll be me showing you, like, me moving around. Um, and it's kind of funny, because if you ever do this, it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like making an animated movie, which I do know how to hand animate using just paper and a pencil to like make the flip book of animation. If you guys want to learn how to make the animation flip book, you know what to do. That's right. Um, so, uh, I've talked too much <laughs> about things and stuff and stuff and things. And I will go get the uh, stuff mailed off this week. I know I need to go get that done. Everybody's like, no, 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 no big rush, no big rush. Well, I still have to get it mailed off to you. Because if I don't get it mailed off before the end of the month, then I would end up mailing it off at the end of the month. Like, my three people, just, just let me know. Um... And as soon as I can get my sewing machine up and running again, <laughs> I gotta work on that. Um, then we'll be back to sewing. So, I will make that happen. Absolutely. So I will make that happen. I was gonna do this. What is this? So live long and prosper. <laughs> Have a blessed day. Oh, <laughs> and it almost felt like a Monday today. I, I actually need some Death Wish coffee. <laughs> I'm sorry, Wawa. You're, you don't compare to Death Wish anymore. I think that's why you have your special edition out now. But, uh, or your limited edition coffee out now. It was good, but... It's not Death Wish. I still love Wawa, but their coffee isn't Death Wish. Maybe Wawa should get together with Death Wish. No, no, you know, it'd be really cool if Wawa featured Death Wish coffee every day. Ooh, I just thought about this. I should get a hold of them for this. Somebody out there probably works for Starbucks and you'll try to snatch up my idea with Death Wish. It's my idea. It's on my channel. <laughs> so anyway, I'll see you guys later. Because I'm not going to say yet until I hear back from Death Wish. Like from that coffee pot that they're going to go ahead and do. <gasps> oh, and it was my idea and they love it. <laughs>